In this lesson, I wanna talk about a really cool new feature that Midjourney has rolled out for its Discord, and that is using a reference photo to generate the AI art on top of. So let's get into this technique. What you first need to do is click this plus icon, and this is gonna allow you to upload a photo to start off with. So we have a few different options here. We have this palm tree, uh, this interesting Shiva type photo. Oh, we also have past photos that we worked with, but let's start with something like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and upload this. And now that it's uploaded, um, actually, let's go ahead and add one more. So let's go ahead and do this one. And I'm gonna hit enter. And now it's gonna upload these images to Discord. Then what I can do is start my prompt and I'm gonna physically drag this photo into the prompt. Now it has the URL link for Discord to use or for Midjourney to use. And you can do the same thing with a URL online. So if you're searching on Google or you found a photo online that you wanna use, you grab the direct link to that photo and you can paste it into your prompt. After I brought that in, now I hit comma and I'm gonna say um, futuristic multi-colored vibrance And let's just try on the moon and see what Mid Journey does. Let's go ahead and let that roll. And while that's going, let's start a second prompt. I'm gonna take this second example, drag it into our prompt, hit comma, and now we can type in whatever we want. For this example, let's try to change the lighting. So right here, we're in ambient daylight. So let's go three point professional Studio lighting. Let's do bioluminescent and let's type in in the snow. While that's loading, we can look at our first version here and some of these are a little abstract. This one's a little bit strange. This one's interesting. This first one is actually really cool. So let's go ahead and up res that first version and then we'll compare our befores and afters. And to kind of further talk about this new feature while the other photos are loading, I did a test before this lesson and I took this screenshot of some new gear that I'm purchasing and added multicolored vibrant to the prompt. And these are the things that had popped out. I was really stunned when I saw this because like I said, this is a new feature, um, but I thought that this would be just a cool little extra for you to see. So now let's go back to our main server and let's check out what we have. So this one definitely got pretty abstract. This one I would wanna rework a little bit. It did keep our subject. <laughs> it added, it looks like ice around her here, combined her with a few different elements. I honestly feel like it might've gotten thrown off by her having multiple arms. I know that this is intelligently choosing what's a human, masking them out, changing the background. It did a good job a good job of putting her in a really realistic looking backdrop that we asked for, but it didn't do the best job of bringing her over. And I really feel like that's because of the arms, throwing them off. Um, but look at this. Okay, so we have our, and I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And here is our before and our after. So pretty damn cool. It did a great job of a multicolored scene with this car that it dynamically cut out and used as a reference photo, put it on the moon, and it looks artistic, it looks unique, and it looks really cool. So I hope that you can use this functionality and create some really awesome art.